welcome students. In today's Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit values in a worksheet. Let's get started. So one of the most valuable features in Excel is calculations, and Excel actually recalculates everything for you as you edit and enter values into input cells. And so this spreadsheet here I created, and it has the item in column A, the quantity sold in column B, the retail price in column C, the total sales in column D, and the percent of total sales in column E. I'm going to show you how we got to some of these totals as well as how to edit some of the most important numbers in these and how those calculations change once we make those edits. As I said, Excel automatically recalculates these results and this is one of the most powerful features of Microsoft Excel. So let's learn how to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to show you uh, the balance pillow here. And so the balance pillow is the main um, item that I'm going to be looking at here for this lesson. And you can see that we've sold 275 balance pillows at a price of $22.49. Next up, you have the total sales. You'll see that the total sales is a calculation. Okay, The way that we could tell the difference between an input cell and a calculation is right up here in the formula bar. In the formula bar, it doesn't say 6,184.75. Instead, it says equals B4 times C4. So B4 is right here, which is an input cell, which again just has the value in it, of 275 times the price of C4. 2249. And that's how we got that total sales uh, total sales calculation right there. As you can see, we've done this for every one of the items, and then down at the bottom we have a total for all sales. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you how to do is to completely change a number in Excel. Let's say that we got this number wrong or we sold uh, more pillows than we were expecting, okay? And so we have 275 here and we just got an order for 75 more pillows and so now our total is 350. If I am in charge of updating this spreadsheet, I am going to have to change this to 350 and so we might as well know the fastest and most efficient way to do this. 275 change to 350, the easiest way is to click on this cell to make the active cell and then immediately type 350. Okay? You don't have to double click within the cell, you don't have to edit the individual values, all of that is just extra work. You don't have to go up to the formula bar up here and change it that way. No, none of that is necessary. You just immediately type in 350. Some of my students have the habit of pressing delete or backspace at the beginning. Again, that's unnecessary. When you type over something in Excel, then it will automatically take the new input. Okay, and so this is how you edit a value um, with a completely new value. All right, and so now we have two options of how to finalize this value. We could press tab, which will move us across the row into cell C4, or we could press enter, which will move us down the column into cell B5. Well, since I'm going to edit the retail price next, I'm going to go ahead and press tab. But before I do, I want you to notice I've typed in 350 here. The total sales still show 6,184 and the uh, total sales for all products still shows 130,739. When I press tab, those numbers will auto recalculate. Check it out. I press tab, that's now 7,871, and this is now 132,000 and some change. All right, so that is how you completely change a value. Now that's not always going to be the case for you. Sometimes you want, will want to change just individual numbers or letters in Excel. If that's the case, then we're going to have a different method on how to edit that value. So this is 2249 right now. Let's say that we raise the price by 50 cents on the balance pillow. And so this is actually an old price here. We now need it to list 2299. The best way to do that is actually by using the double click method. And the double click method is useful because it will not replace completely what you have listed here. Sure, it wouldn't be a big deal to just retype in 2299. You could do that. But if the values get very, very long and you just need to change one number or a part of a word or add in a letter, something like that, then it is best to use the double click method. So I'm going to double click right between the 4 and the 9 right here and watch what happens. One, two, okay. 
And so I tried to double click between the four and the nine and defaulted me over. But anyway, uh, it defaulted me to right there. I could now click within any of the areas to select the cell that, or the part of the cell that I'm interested in. You could also press, I think, yes, you could press the left and right arrow and the left and right arrows in on your keyboard will actually move you between the uh, different characters within this. And so we want this to be 2249. So there are two uh, keys on your keyboard that will allow you to delete. And so there's two of them. You have backspace, which deletes to the left, which will delete the four, as you can see. And then you have delete, which will delete to the right, which will delete the nine, as you can see. Now, obviously, I didn't need to delete the nine, but just so you know. And so you'll replace that with $22.99 because that's our new price. And then if you press tab or enter, you'll notice that the new price of the total sales and total sales for all products will also be updated. I press tab and it brought it up to 8,000. Okay, so that 50 cent increase, you can see the difference on what that did to the price. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you here is a, um, a little bit about the formula bar. Now the formula bar can also be used to make edits. So I'm gonna go up here to the subtitle which says balance and stabilization sales. And let's say that I wanna add May 2021 after this, okay? You could actually go right up here into the formula bar and click at the end and then just type in May 2021 and then press tab. And when you do that, it'll add in the rest of that. Now, the formula bar is pretty useful because you can go to a specific spot in a single click as opposed to double clicking. And you guys even saw when I tried double clicking on um, this down here in a specific spot, I got it wrong the first time. So there's more error for that. So the formula bar allows you to click within very specific spots. And finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is a little bit of a Microsoft Word trick, but you can use it in Excel as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell in A1. And if you actually press the F2 function key on your keyboard, it's, some of your keyboards won't have it, but if you do have those function keys up at the top next to escape on your keyboard, it'll say F1, F2, F3, all the way through F12, very top of your keyboard. If you press F2, then it'll put you into the cell, which is kind of cool. And if yours didn't work, let's say you're using a laptop or a keyboard that doesn't really have enough keys, you might also find an FN key towards the bottom near the right, uh, right side of the keyboard. It's a little F and then an N next to it. And you might need to hold down the FN key and then press F2. Okay, so a little bit different for different keyboards. I can't obviously uh, tell you that it's going to work on yours. It depends on the keyboard. But anyway, um, so that will automatically put you into the cell. Now, here's a little trick from Microsoft Word. You could press home. It'll take you to the beginning of the cell. And you can press end, E-N-D. It'll take you to the end of the cell. The home and the end keys are usually located right above the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. And those take you to the uh, beginning and end of the cell. Now another little trick from Excel is you can click within any of the area on the cell and it will put the insertion point there. But then the trick from Word is if you double click, one, two, it'll actually select the word. Okay, so that's a little trick from Word that also works here in Excel. And then I, let's say I wanted to call it Profit Santa Anna, just like that. And uh, there we go. And so I made that change. And so the benefit of double clicking is that it selects that word and then you could just type to replace it. Now, if you needed to, you could triple click one, two, three, and that'll select everything within the cell. Well, every paragraph anyway, within the cell. And that's kind of useless though, because at that point you might as well just type over with what you're doing as we learned in the first step on this. Uh, finally, the last thing that I wanted to go over was I had a couple questions on my YouTube channel about uh, how to um, set up a percent style. You can see that I have my percent style right here. In general, Excel does not have percent style set by default. You actually need to tell Excel in the number group to set this as percent style. So the way that we do that is in the home tab, number group, and yours will probably say general by default. But to make percentages in Excel, you go home tab, number group, you hit the drop down arrow, and then you would choose percentage right there. 
and that will set it as a percentage with two decimals as default. You could still in the number group increase or decrease the decimals and that will um, allow you to um, you know, make your numbers more accurate. Because if you just hit this percent symbol right here, it defaults to zero decimals. And so this one looks like seven and 17, but really they are, that's more close, that's closer to seven and a half. 17 was close, but yeah. Uh, the obviously the longer the decimal, the um, the the more accurate that number is going to look to your eye. So, anyway, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this lesson on entering and editing values in Excel. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I have playlists on Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Outlook, and. I guess anything else. Maybe a couple on OneNote. I also have videos on Microsoft Windows 10 and Computer Fundamentals tutorials. So if you uh, want to check out any of those, they're all on my channel on the playlist section. So thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.